I tell you what, it is all happening in week six of the Paris Marathon training videos. We've got track running, road running, trail running and treadmill. We've got interval training, we've got climbing session, we've got progressive run, we've got my first 20 mile run of the block and we've got a race on the Sunday. And yes, I did nick the idea from those graphics from Philly Bowden. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do click that subscribe button. No hard sell. Oh yeah, that was Nick from Messy Happy. No hard sell. If you want to subscribe, subscribe, but no hard sell. So because of the previous Sunday's Chichester 10K, Monday's track session was a little bit easier than it might have been. We did a warm up with drills and then I did two times 10 minutes hard effort. So basically a 5K. We had 90 minutes rest in the middle. So two times 10 minutes for the track session on Monday. When you're training for a marathon, do you do a track session? Let me know in the comments below, because it's not something I've done regularly when training for a marathon. Tuesday was a double day on Zwift. So in the morning, the film might run 500 climbing session, 500 meters climb, keeping the heart rate low. And then in the evening, we did a comfortable, relaxed 5K on Zwift. By the way, you know how I usually tell you how hard I've worked by showing you my heart rate and how many minutes or hours I spent in zones four and five. So this week we're going to add in, just for comparison, pace settings. So my pace settings are set to um, a 5k time of 18 minutes 30. So at the end we'll have a look at how many minutes I spent in zones four and five of my pace settings. Wednesday was a really tough day. So I spent the morning with my friend Dan. Oh, hey friend! From the Cyman Dan channel and the Runman Dan channel. And we did 20 miles all the way along the South Downs Way. So that was pretty tough in the morning. And it was my first 20 mile run of this training block. But then we came to Wednesday evening when we had a mega tough interval session on Zwift. Uh, it was like a ladder progression session. So it's five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes and one minute, each getting faster and faster for each progression. But then we also had in between those, we had a 30 second recovery only and five minutes under threshold. So five minutes under threshold and then the ladder as well. It was a tough session on Wednesday evening. As you can imagine, after Wednesday's almost 42 kilometers, I needed a bit of a rest on Thursday. So I only did a nice easy 10K on Zwift in the evening. Steady pace, steady low heart rate. Now's the time, if you are enjoying the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Approaching 12,000 subscribers now, so that'd be a really good milestone for me to get to. Appreciate it if you could click the like button click the notifications bell and click subscribe. That would be great. And then maybe an advert coming your way now. Actually, there genuinely is an advert coming your way. You know I'm an ambassador for Noble Pro treadmills. If you're interested in getting a new treadmill, if you want one of the new smart treadmills, and if you're interested in running with us on Zwift, Noble Pro have a really good offer on at the moment. 100 pounds off both of their treadmills in their range. And if you use my discount code, which is in the description of this video, you'll get an extra 4% off in addition to that. So if you're interested in a new treadmill, go check that out now, Noble Pro Treadmills. Friday, I was still recovering from the Wednesday effort, but I did manage to do another 10K on the treadmill. This time I did it progressive, only slightly progressive, we went from six minutes per kilometre to five minutes per kilometre over the course of the 10K run. And that was Friday. Week six was supposed to be my final week of 100K distance, but I slightly misjudged the distances I ran this week. And so I have ended up with a bit more than 100K. Saturday is park run day. And so this week, 
we went to Peacehaven. Peacehaven is all on the tarmac path around a park. And so we did 5K in the morning at Peacehaven Park Run. You can watch that video right there if you want. It is very windy on the seafront now. I'm not sure you can even hear me, even with this mic. Anyway, uh, Saturday evening. So Saturday evening uh, on the treadmill, we were doing the Paris Marathon long run training. So it was an hour and 25 minutes this Saturday. And I think we managed around 13 kilometers really slowly, nice and easy. Saturday done. So Sunday was race day and I was running for my club, Worthing Harriers in the West Sussex Fun Run League. It was an 8K race starting on the track at Crawley Leisure Centre and going through Tilgate Park. And I'll link to that video at the end. Suffice to say that was another hard effort for the week. So if we look at the stats, I did 10 runs, 10 activities over the course of the week. And four of those were hard efforts. So 40% of my activities last week were hard efforts. So in terms of mileage, I said I did a little bit more than I should have. 114 kilometers, 55 of those kilometers on the treadmill on Zwift and 59 kilometers outdoors. 31 of those 114 kilometers were difficult, hard efforts, which works out at around about 27%. So 27% hard effort in terms of mileage. Now let's compare heart rate and pace. So last week I did approximately 11 hours and 10 minutes of running. And of those 11 hours and 10 minutes, Strava has calculated that I spent 35 minutes in zones four and five of my pace zones. So 35 minutes, in four and five pace zones. If you look at heart rate, I spent twice as long in zones four and five of my heart rate, an hour and 10 minutes in zones four and five of my heart rate. So why is that? It's the main reason that I use heart rate as the metric to determine how hard I've worked over pace particularly because how fast you're running doesn't necessarily indicate how hard your body is working and therefore what physiological changes are happening to your body. Pace is simply measuring how fast you're running. Now I could be running up a hill very slowly. My pace would be ridiculously slow but my heart rate might be quite high. I would be working quite hard. So I did quite a few sessions where I was climbing hills, uh, certainly in the race that I did on Sunday and in the 20 mile run that I did with Dan and also the hill session I do on the treadmill. All of those sessions had me running uphill. All of those sessions had a high heart rate, which would have been in zones four and five for at least some of the time. So unless you're always running on the flat, Pace is really not a very good indicator of how hard you are working during your sessions. And finally, my pace zones might be set a bit quick because Strava has based them on a 5K time of 18 minutes 30, and I'm possibly not in that shape at the moment. So it may be that it's expecting me to run a bit faster than I actually can. If you'd like to watch the 8K race I did on Sunday, then click that link right there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, Really appreciate if you could do so. Click the like button as well. And we will see you for the next Paris Marathon training session next week, where we will be bumping it up to at least 110 kilometers. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.